Hey guys, so I'm just gonna quickly jump in here from time to time to let you know more about the nurseries or my favorite nurseries or where I feel like what plant you should buy where and all that good stuff. So we're gonna start with the five bigger plant nurseries and then I'm saving the best for last, which are the smaller nurseries. Oh my gosh, we haven't even started yet and I'm sweating balls. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna start with the biggest plant nursery, or at least the biggest plant nursery we've went to, which is the Evergreen Nursery. I wouldn't really go here if you're looking for house plants because they have mostly outdoor plants, flowers, and more gardening stuff, like more for the garden, but they do have a small section of house plants. And if you do go here, you're gonna need to drive around because it's a huge nursery. So there's literally a map, that's how big this place is. So if you come in here, make sure to get a map. are huge. We have so many. This is why you need a car. Philly fig tree here at Evergreen Nursery and Eve and Sanitas they have really good obviously they have a Philly fig forest but over here they also have really big Philly fig trees if you guys need any flower baskets they have a ton here I feel like flower baskets are way too old school for me that's all my mom had <laughs> they also have really hot guys here Okay, next we have Planter Paradise. This isn't technically a nursery. They do have a few selection of succulents, but if you're looking for pots, especially big pots and cheap pots, then definitely come here. It's not bad, 22. These are cute. They're pretty cheap. Like they're really cheap. Three bucks. Right nearby, this next place has a huge monstera. Green platter succulents and other cute plants. But I came here for this girl. 
since the original girl I went to go visit there wasn't home. Show me your garden. No? Piper, come on. <laughs> it's a bird. Calm down. Ooh, they're growing. Mm -hmm. They're pretty big. Oh, yeah. Obviously, this isn't a nursery. My best friend's house was just so close to the pot shop. To the pot shop. Sounds like I'm buying weed. Okay, right next to that plant shop, these are both in El Cajon, is a Rancho Valhalla nursery. Valhalla, Valhalla. It sounds so Nordic. So there's a group on Facebook, a San Diego houseplant group. I noticed a few people recommending this place, yet they had a very, very small selection of houseplants. Again, it's just like the other bigger nurseries where they have a lot of outdoor big plants and flowers, but not a lot of houseplants. And of course, when we finally got to the houseplant area, my camera was kind of like in a weird angle, so I didn't get a good shot, but I do clearly remember everything that was there. There was like two wandering Jews, one Chinese money plant, a lot of those bug eating plants, some dumb canes, one fiddly fig. I think there was like one monstera, but there was not a good selection of plants. So I don't know why this was being recommended because I wouldn't go there to buy a house plant. Okay, next we have Walter Anderson Nursery. There are two. The one I filmed was in the bigger one. I apologize. I had to slow down the video because I was so excited because this was like our actual first time going out, going out, out since quarantine. So when I saw all the plants, I was so excited. So I was filming really fast. So I had to slow it down. We went here. I was specifically looking for frosted peperomia because on their Instagram, it looked like they have them, but they didn't. The peperomia I did get that day was from their second location. I didn't film their second location just because it was kind of the same thing. Actually, the second smaller location had better houseplants than this first one. This is a really nice nursery to walk around.
last but not least, out of the bigger plant nurseries, we have Cordova Gardens. We have this really pretty fiddly fig forest and that's why a lot of people go there. But out of all the nurseries, this has the biggest selection of houseplants. but I don't know why everyone's obsessed with fiddle leaf figs. If you are a fiddle leaf fig lover, do not come for me. I just do not understand the obsession. They're everywhere in magazines, in Pinterest, like in every, not every YouTuber, but so many YouTubers' videos in their backgrounds. I, I don't understand the obsession with fiddle leaf figs. I mean, you could love them and you could be like, okay, why is everyone obsessed with monsteras? Why does everyone have a monstera? I love monsteras. So I wouldn't be offended if you didn't understand but fiddly figs, I, I'm sorry, I don't understand. They do not look appealing to my eye. See, I want this, a lipstick plant or a goldfish plant. Like, they're so cute. Did you find something? He's so much fuller than my pepperoni. These are... Ooh! I thought they would be prickly. I wonder if they're easy to take care of. These are everywhere in the Philippines. So it's weird seeing them in pots. Because they kind of grow like grass everywhere. Yeah, I want these guys too, but I want them in a smaller pot. I know they're the same family as the fig tree, but these look cool. I just like how they look almost black. But yeah, that might be too big for her apartment.
Tiny grapes. More like raspberries, like purple raspberries. I noticed that the bigger nurseries tend to neglect their plants and that's totally understandable because they have way more plants than the smaller nurseries. See, this is what I'm talking about with bigger nurseries. Like there's always webs, like they don't really wipe them down. But that's why I love the smaller nurseries because they give them extra love. They have less plants to take care of and look after for, so I feel like there's more love with the smaller nurseries. Like the lipstick plants here at Cordova Gardens, they were kind of like all over the place. But then when you go to Eden, the Eden nursery, their lipstick plants, same price, are perfect. Like there's not a flaw in sight. Like they really take care of the plants. So since Cordova Gardens is kind of a long drive, it's like a 20, 30 minute drive from us. I don't think we'd go back. Maybe if they had a plant I really wanted just today. It is August 22nd. They said they would have some variegated string of hearts and I would definitely go drive up there for that. And I would definitely go back so I could eat at the vegan restaurant nearby called Eve. They have really good vegan food. Okay, on to the smaller plant nurseries. We have North Park Nursery. If you want some coffee, if you want some plants, then definitely go here. I'm not a coffee person because coffee always gives me a headache, but the coffee shop next door, Communal Coffee, has this like sweet mint oat milk cold brew and that doesn't give me a headache and oh my gosh, it's so good. We would grab coffee, we'd go into North Park Nursery. North Park Nursery is a little dark compared to the other nurseries because they mostly have one light source coming in so it does tend to make it feel a little cramped but i don't mind again i love the small nurseries because they always rotate their plants based on like what everyone's looking for or based on like the new plant trend By the way, if you want that giraffe planner, it's $21 and that's the small size. But if you drive four minutes down the road, Pigment has that same planner for $22, but for the larger size. So speaking of Pigment, this is actually my second favorite plant nursery. I don't know if you would call it a nursery. It's kind of like if Urban Outfitters was a plant shop, a plant nursery, it would be Pigment. And you would think it would be really expensive like Urban Outfitters, but it's not. Like I said, that giraffe planner was cheaper than North Park Nursery, but it's understandable because they're bigger and they have a ton of really cute planners, which are cheap. Your cacti. Is that the one you want? <laughs> If 
if you see a plant you like and think, oh, it's fine, it'll be there next week, I can wait then, don't get the plant. Or at least for me, because every time I find a plant I like, it will not be there the next day or the next week or all the good ones are gone. So I wanted that baby tears plant. And this next clip is from 10 days later and you can see he's practically balding. Do you have my baby? Oh, they do have. Yeah, they have one more baby tears. Maybe it's meant to be. Boob, can you hang it? <laughs> Yay! This is the pot for Victoria. It was only six dollars. Okay, next we have Eden, which is a black owned family business. I think like all of these or most of these, especially the smaller ones are family owned businesses. But at Eden, oh my gosh, their plants are perfect. There is not one flaw in sight. There is no browning leaves, like nothing. There's nothing wrong. I feel like they personally go, I don't know how plant nurseries buy their stuff, go to someone. I feel like they personally go and pick up the most perfect ones and that's what they sell in their store because they're all so perfect. Okay, next we have Green Gardens Nursery. They're right near the beach. This has such a chill vibe, like their music is so chill. I don't know what it is. It's probably because it's near the beach and they have chill music, but I didn't expect to really like this nursery. You can go to the beach, you can come here and buy a plant, go home, be happy. went because I wanted that Calathea. I actually wanted a bigger one so I was thinking about it and as you can see there are three left. I put it down, I walked away for like five seconds and I walked back and they were all gone. Oh my gosh like people are like savages. Hey baby!
Okay, last but not least, we have artifacts and artichokes. This is my favorite plant nursery. It's very dangerous because I can walk there. It might take a while. It's probably like a 20 minute walk from me, but it's so close. It's a rare plant shop. They have this rare plant vault. When they're fully stocked, oh my gosh, they have the best plants. Go to the Instagram because I know they usually update what they have. But every time I'm there, I always end up coming home with a plant. Oh, this one's so pretty! That's the one I wanted on Etsy. It's, it's not the frosted one. A rare plant ball. Oh, fancy. That's cool. Thank you. Whoa. These are cute. Oh, there, there's a... Look! <laughs> you want to check the price? $425. Wow. Peperomia frost. Is that the frosty one? Yeah. Uh, Okay guys, so that's it for my plant nursery video here in San Diego. Also, if you're in San Diego, Ivy May is a plant delivery service and it delivers for free. I'm always looking at their website when they update their new plants because they always have such pretty plants. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't go too crazy buying plants, but then I would be a hypocrite if I said that because all I've been doing is buying plants. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Thank you guys for watching this video. Plant life. What you call me again? Planty. Planty. I am a planty though. Okay, let's look for more plants. Now walk off. You're gonna walk off? You walk off. Where are you? Wherever. Okay. Just walk off.